Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. And it all starts in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. For now though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. You can customize and upgrade everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter the ship builder mode. Here you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. You can even fully customize your paint job to get the exact look you want. The parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. You can have modules for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Starfield's in-game ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls, and control rooms. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. It's a bit odd, but one of my favorite ways of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. The HMS Platypus, as I call it, where it had a, like a giant tail to it. And we've done spiders, we've done mechs. So it's really whatever your imagination is. And while you can build your home among the stars the way you want to, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. Engines ready. The Frontier is fueled and ready, Captain. Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts, as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking for a little extra help on your ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? You'll also meet potential crew members out in the world. Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Assign crew to your ship or outposts and their unique skills will affect how they run. And just like companions, most crew members can lend a hand in the field. Take Bosco, for instance. He's designed around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. And now, let's take to the sky.